now I want to add a pin over here so how do I add a pin over here first I need to import my map annotation so let me go ahead and import this first and then I would say map annotation star annotation equal to map annotation allocate and initialize once I have this ready I can give a title to the annotation say apple and then I can say title equal to um, sorry not title let me give the title subtitle equal to head quarters like that once I have that uh, I can I need to give the coordinates so coordinate equal to whatever region we specified above so I will just say region dot center mm, region itself is not a coordinate region dot center is the coordinate so that's why I said region dot so, and then to add it to the map view I will just say map view add so it comes up with a bunch of function and I would select add annotation and it needs something of the type mk annotation and that is our annotation so once I have that the annotation has been added if I run it um, what you will see is the map view but no annotation has been added why because we need to there's a there's a delegate function mk map view delegate function which is called view for annotation where we specify what we need to display so for that we need to show the uh, call the call the uh, call the delegate function it's called mk annotation view star map view as soon as you type this you will see this function shop that's what we need uh, view for annotation annotation so whatever annotation is added it will show that then I would go ahead and do a mk pin annotation view star pin view I will first declare it to nil this is my pin view that I want to show next I would say if annotation is not equal to map view dot user location first I will check is it user location if not then go ahead and create one uh, let's string this string default id uh, I will call it something say my location maybe uh, give it give it a kind of identifier so that's my identifier for the pin and then I'll say pin view equal to mk pin annotation view star it uh, it's map view dq reusable annotation what will this do is if I have multiple pins around which I can use uh, so this kind of reuses those pins but in this case I have one but I'm still using it just to show you if you have multi one, multiple ones in your code you better use uh, something like this so pin id uh, once I have that that's my pin view and after that I will check if pin view equal to nil so that would be called only if it exists if the pin view exists to be reusable if if the pin view is equal to nil then I will just say pin view equal to mk pin annotation view allocate um, in it with annotation here is where I create a new uh, pin view annotation reuse identifier default ID which I just declared above that's that and uh, I also call it uh, so do it auto release so that's my pin view uh, once I'm done with that I can give some other web values to pin view like pin view dot say pin color is equal to mk let's see what are the different available pin colors red green and purple so let's say green I want green and I'll select that you can select anyone that you like pin view dot can sh 
show call out this is when you click on the bubble will it call a call out yes it does so uh, that will show the apple and headquarters as the subtitle next is pin view animate drop animate drop i want it to drop the pin like it's falling from the sky so i say okay yes so once i have that and that is for if the annotation view is not equal to user location uh, else i would where did the function end right over here now what if it's a user location so then i don't want to do anything so just for a separate when i'm kind of adding a location i want to show, see the pin so that's how you add a pin now let's see if it runs or if i have to do anything else to make it work it will give a set of warnings because my map view name is same as the map view thing so there you go it draws the map it shows the pin if i click on it it shows the and uh, the, the call out apple and headquarters the bubble that i added you can change it to anything you want similarly you can add multiple pins to it uh, remember to dq your pins same as how we did in table views uh, that's how you do using interface builder now uh, what if i don't want to do using interface builder i just want i can just delete it and go back here and i say that i don't want a ib outlet so once i have that done so if i run it now let's see what happens mm. it just shows me it doesn't show the map because i don't have the map anymore because i removed it from the interface builder so what i would do is i have to go ahead and do it myself so i will take that map view and go here and when view did load i will say map view is equal to mk map view allocate in it with frame cg rect make 0 0 320 480 whatever the frame size is and i'll say self dot view add sub view map view i'll also say map view dot delegate equal to self because we had done that using interface builder now if i run it again i have my i should have my map view with everything over there and the pin drops and you can click on it apple and headquarters there we go that's how you use uh, uh, map kit using interface builder first and then i showed you how to do it using uh, how to do a map kit programmatically thank you for watching uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, also would help to have some thumbs up uh, um, and if you have any questions please leave them on the comments thank you